guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is finally going to be the review on the ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick. I purchased this literally two days after it came out because at first I wasn't going to, but then I did decide to review it. I did purchase it. First off, it took forever to get here, and then when it finally got here, something happened. My son knocked over everything on top of my vanity, and I wasn't filming for about a week because I was like depressed over it. Not really, but kind of. I don't want to get speak too much on it. I just want to jump into the review. You no, know, it is a bit late. I'm pretty sure this came out almost a month ago. So I'm not even sure if anybody is interested in seeing the reviews anymore. But I know that the subscribers that I have that actually watch my videos wouldn't mind seeing the review. Um, if they do, then oops, I'm sorry. But the problem is, is that I purchase a lot of the new releases. So I can review it. But for some reason, something always comes up. Like the Desi and Katie, the Sultry Palette, the Fenty Beauty Highlighter Palette, which I purchased the first day it came out. Those are all things that I wanted to view on my channel. And then life happens and I don't get to review it. There have been other things from before that I still have not reviewed because I always felt like, oh, a month went by and nobody is even interested. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's my first time trying out a product and the people that are interested will watch it and the people that are not won't watch it. Do you get what I'm saying? So I don't want to keep you here too long because I do want to jump right into this first impression slash review. And yeah. If you're new here, I just want to say hi, my name is Victoria, and I really hope you stay for a while, and if you happen to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you happen to like me, I really hope you consider subscribing, and also click the little notification bell, so that way YouTube can notify you every single time I upload. I really hope you join my little YouTube family here, where it is nothing but positivity, and we are going to grow and learn this makeup thing together. I am not saying that I am a makeup pro, because I am definitely not. But we're just learning along the way and let's get on into the review. So the funny thing is I have never tried a foundation stick in my life. Never tried it. This is the first time that I am actually going to try one. So I got the shade medium 90W. I'm hoping it works. I'm getting a little paleish here. Um, and I honestly think that the shade is going to be a little bit too dark. So I am going to blend it out on one side with a beauty sponge and one side with a brush. I personally do not use brushes for my foundations, but I really do want to see the difference. I'm hoping it works for me because I do have dry skin. I'm going to go in with the ColourPop All Star Primer. I had this primer for a while and I never used it. It has like a weirdish smell, which I don't know, I kind of like it. It kind of smells like cupcakes and, and cookies to me. So the primer is on. It feels a little bit tacky, but not too much. I heard that's really good. So it helps your makeup stick. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this side here with the beauty sponge and this side here with a brush. I'm just going to be using this flat brush that I got from a Morphe monthly subscription, which is the RG6, to blend it out. So I'm going to do the sponge side first. So this is how much product that you get. Which, if you can see from my skin, it might be a little bit too dark i'm not sure if you can see it on a camera i don't know if this is a good amount of product i mean i want to say yes i think i seen a video on the maybelline fit me stick and you got a lot less so i, I think it's pretty decent i mean who knows right so we're just gonna go right in so i don't know if you can see that on camera which you probably not what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to turn the light down so you can honestly see that that is too dark okay so I turn my light down I don't know if it's gonna look good I am going to turn my light back up just a tiny bit because it is kind of dark but I just wanted to show you the difference in my color I definitely got it a little bit too dark but we're just gonna keep going so I don't know how you're supposed to do this 
I guess I'm just gonna go like that. I'm just gonna do it like that for now and then blend it out. So I dimmed my light again just so you could really see. Blending it out, it's not that dark. It did fade, but I feel like the foundation is not sticking around here. Also, you can definitely see my pores with this foundation. I should have used a pore filling primer, but I just wanted to stick with the ColourPop. So I am going to just put some there and see what happens. That is what it looks like. It definitely covered up a bit, but for some reason I still feel like I see my redness peeking through. This is my face without foundation, so I do have some redness here you can actually see. I feel like me dimming the light down, you can see a little bit better. If you see my blackheads and my pores, just ignore that, okay? But this is my skin without any foundation, so I do have some redness here, and I feel like it really hit it over here even though I feel like it's not sticking. I kind of don't know if it's my peach fuzz that's making it feel that way. Like giving it like a type of shadow underneath it if I make any sense but yeah. Definitely is harder to blend out for me than uh uh, liquid so I am going to try to build it up a little bit more just to see if maybe it's a little bit more coverage does it get cakey or whatever so we're just gonna keep on and it definitely like I said it definitely is a lot of work for me I never try to stick foundation so I really don't know how it is but I just feel like gosh it is so hard to blend I no matter what I do I'm still seeing the foundation I'm hoping that when I use the brush it's a lot easier so the shade difference is not that bad once it's blended out but now we're gonna go in on this side and we're going to use the brush I definitely think it was a lot easier to blend out with the brush. I am going to do a second layer just because I did that with this side and blend it out. I honestly feel like it's more or less the same coverage. I always have a problem around here looking like it didn't stick the foundation. But I'm starting to really think that maybe it's just like the shadows from my peach fuzz there. I've been really wanting to thread my face but I'm scared because then I'm just scared that it'll grow back even worse because I do have a lot of peach fuzz if you do not notice I have a whole bunch right here I have some right here I have some on my mustache and it's just a lot so I honestly am liking the brush side more. I'm going to move forward and show you what each side looks like and then I'm gonna turn the lighting out and all that So this right here is the brush side, and this is the sponge side. Like I, I did say that it is making my pores show, and honestly, the side with the sponge definitely feels a lot more heavier than the side with the brush, but it's okay. Okay, so the foundation is on. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face and then I'm going to let you know what I think. I'm also going to wear it throughout the day. I'm going to try to do a check-in before I take it off. It is currently 11.54 a.m. So before I take it off, I am going to try to do a quick little check-in. But let me go do the rest of my face and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. And you can obviously tell that my hair is dry now because it is looking wild and crazy. I also did the rest of my face, which I am really, really enjoying this look. My thoughts on this, I, I honestly don't think that the color... In person looks too bad I really think I'm going to enjoy this it definitely was a lot less messier than using a liquid foundation and putting it on the back of my hand I also noticed that the foundation did not really stick to the brush this is a brush I used 
I did not clean the brush. Usually with liquid foundations, it goes right to the bottom and it looks nasty and cakey. But this one barely looks dirty and I really use it. I felt like with the brush, there was no wasted product. So I really look forward to still giving this a try. Like I said, I feel like this is enough product. I think I paid $10 for this foundation and I think that's more than enough. I'm not mistaken, I think it was about $10. But I personally think that I'm going to continue to use it with a brush just because I like it better. Like I said before, I am going to update you on my thoughts about this foundation. I'm just going to go ahead and complete this first impression slash review on the ColourPop foundation stick. I will update you in a future video to let you know how I am enjoying it. That is all that I have for you guys today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and click the little notification bell and I just want to say thank you so much for watching stay blessed and I hope to see you in my next one bye